Brad Brad I got here. Uh, Henry Cejudo looked amazing at UFC 215. Beat Wilson Hayes in the second round. His striking is on another level right now. He came out looking like Machida, and he fought like Machida. He looked amazing. The power he possesses, how quick his hands were. That straight right he landed on Wilson was phenomenal. Um, you know, Henry Cerudo, he, he looks... He looks good. He's very dangerous right now, and I think he's coming into his own, which is very exciting for that flyweight division. Um, so him versus Pettis. I think that's the fight to make. With uh, Mighty Mouse probably fighting Borg at a later date, you got two of the best. Suhudo Pettis, they've never fought before. Have them fight each other, and then the winner of that faces the winner of Borg versus Mighty Mouse. R winner of Borg versus Mighty. He's not Mouse anymore. He's Mighty. Um... Yeah, so who you know he's looked he looked amazing. He's got the wrestling background. He's finally coming into his own. And then Pettis, I think Pettis is five in a row now. Four in a row. Pettis has looked amazing. His last fight was against Morono, um, the fight night back in early August. So these two guys going at it would be great. Both guys are very good strikers. Both guys are very tough fighters. Uh, Pettis obviously with Duke Rufus got the Taekwondo background. He's great in Jiu-Jitsu. Um, these guys are just get better and better every fight. So having these two fight fight each other would be great. Uh, different matchups. Hudo versus Mighty Mouse. The second fight would be... I don't know going to call him Mighty Mouse. Um, a, sec a second fight would be a lot closer than the first fight. Judging by how Suhudo fought. So if I was Mighty Mouse, I'd be, a, I'd be very happy because you got some good fights ahead of you. So Suhudo versus Pettis. The fight to make, I think, now. Um, so let's get this fight talking, and uh, hopefully it'll happen later this year. Henry Cejudo, Sergio Pez, and Barbara Guy.